Lots of lovely spots. You could go on this ledge over here. Just has a nice little convenient path round to it. I'm sure there's plenty of spots over there. It's literally camp spot heaven if we don't get some annoyed farmer coming and moving us on. I just can't stop doing videos. It's just so nice. So we've just got back to the road. I'm gonna grab the stuff and head up there for a little camp. We found our spot. And yeah, hopefully hope for oh, hopefully hope. And hopefully get a gorgeous sunset tonight. The sky is clear but it is clouds, so it's all good signs, baby! Oh, right, it's quarter past six. Got all the stuff. Okay, time to go. I think we made fairly good time. Right, it's half six. Well, 34, 35 past. We're back at the arch. We're making good time, people. We're here. Oh, look at that. Let's see if we can get a bit better focus. Oh, lovely. Right, can I set up the tent quick and easy? Even though I've never set it up before, so I'll say quick and easy. made it our tent looks a bit poor but don't care got the van gogh banshee pro 300 haven't put it up before so i think we made pretty good time a few little bits of tidying up to do but here we go <laughs> i forgot the little tripod thing the thing that i need put my camera on the tripod so phone video in tonight with slightly shoddier microphone but look where we are it is so beautiful i love it so much it is so nice <laughs> Okay, got the Sea to Summit Everlight XT sleeping pad blown up. Nice and quick and easy. Uh, this isn't the right order for my brain, but here's Amy's sleeping bag. We're still working with quite a big one. We've not got everything packed down quite yet. So she's still with her Van Gogh 375 Nightstar one. And we're a new bit of kit, Outkit, Cloud, uh, Outkit Pipe Dream 400. never know whether to do this now or just enjoy the sunset so I'm just trying to hurry a little bit oh <laughs> drop the stuff right you don't need to watch me blow a mat up <laughs> So we've got a couple of fire pot meals to try, vegan orzo bolognese and dal and dal and rice with spinach. Yeah, let's get this going because I'm pretty hungry. We've got 
gorgeous lights look over here appearing. Always wanted to have a camp where I can see some lights. And I could also see the sea mm -hmm. and the blue lake <laughs> and mountains. Perfect. So definitely ticked a few of them off the list in one camp. <laughs> nice. I mean. <laughs> Remember to take your packets out, guys. I think you're going to have to find your own Pepsi, mate. <laughs> that one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Red light, white light, glow, everybody, yo. <laughs> so we just sat here waiting for our food to cook. It's about quarter past eight. We've pretty much completely lost all the light now. It's about 14 degrees, so it's nice and warm. And we're just enjoying staring at these gorgeous lights of Fairborn. It's just so nice. I've moved it and he's still after it. Get your own. So nice. Wow. Always wanted a view like this and we've got everything with it. Teesside mountains, estuary, trees. <laughs> a bloody quarry. <laughs> <laughs> So we're putting our down jackets in a dry bag to make sure no condensation gets to them. Keeps them lasting better for longer. And then it doubles as Amy's pillow. <laughs> we Good morning. It is 6.30. No, it's 6.20. And 6.23 actually. <laughs> and the sunset is due to arrive at the station at 6.40. Look at that beautiful view, Doris. Here's our new tent. It looks so wide, but it's really a million percent not a three person. The dogs do not, do not agree. <laughs> like if um, they had a third mat in there. No way. Hmm. Oh, we've got a, a bit of pink. Ah, nice. Oh, looks like it's going to be a good one. Sun not quite up yet. Sunrise pending. Look at that. Look at that. Another lush ledge here. There's gorgeous views. You can even see the lake a bit as well. Gorgeous. Good morning from the Blue Lake. Here's this morning sunrise. Right, recording on the big 18 mil lens. Ah, Cause the last trip, basically, I didn't wake my tripod down and it blew over on Mole Cybob. I always get to say Mole Cybob, but it's Mole Cybod. So on Mole Cybod, I, my camera and my tripod fell over and my little kit lens broke. So I'm using my 400, 18 to 400 mil beast lens. So, you aren't, can't, hopefully can't see the struggle in my face, but it is a struggle to hold this beast up. <laughs> so we just sat here, made some coffees, been a bit of a big rush to get the sunrise pics in. It's, just, it's only there for a brief time, isn't it? So fleeting, you just want to slow it all down. Anyway, this has just been such a success for a camp. Oh, just absolutely in love with this place. 
But let's put my arm down now before it falls off. Look, oh look, the lights all opened up over there. Now we can see the town. Oh. Yeah, I can see WH Smith. <laughs> 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 oh. You don't want to drink out of the mug? Come on. <laughs> Good girl. What a beautiful place. So definitely a good decision to stay here. It's literally 10 o'clock. We took the tent down ages ago and we've just been sitting here enjoying because there's been literally nobody. Not a soul has come around here for a walk. It's a Friday and we just had the place to ourselves. Amy's resting her knees a little bit because we're hoping to climb up Cadet Idris tomorrow. I'm going to do it today, but her legs are hurting a bit, so we're, good. we're resting up a bit. I'm going to take it easy, go to the beach, let the dogs run around, be, have, have some fun. Spotted out a cool car camp spot on the map, so we're going to check that out as well and hopefully stay there tonight, have a bit of a beach view. Might have to be a bit stealthy, but we'll, do, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll manage it, I'm sure. Got window covers now, but that's actually less stealthy. Hmm. Opinions on that in the comments, please. Window covers less or more stealthy. Mm -hmm. But that's alright. Hush.